out on the Hero Stadium turf nowadays. He's number 39 for the San Diego Fleet. Though to know Terrell Watson is to realize that his story is one of a kind. I was adopted at two weeks old. Um, my birth mom left me on the doorstep of my, of my grandparents. Um, I was born as you would call like a crack baby or a drug baby. Um, went to withdrawals as a little kid. But you won't hear Terrell speak ill of his mom. In fact, there's admiration for the woman he calls Nikki. I feel that I feel that she didn't say I don't want anything to do with you. Like I'm, I don't want anything to do. I feel like it was more the sense that I'm a 15 year old girl who cannot provide for this kid, and I need to give him to someone who can. And the only people I know who can do this is my parents. And for her giving him to, giving uh, me to my grandparents was her way of saying, I love you enough to give you to someone who will actually do it who actually take care of you and take care of it better, better than I can. Born in Los Angeles and raised in the nearby town of Oxnard, Terrell grew up with the realities of his biological mother's mistakes. Especially all through, all throughout high school, I mean, all throughout junior high, and then in high school I decided to don't let this disability define me no more because I wanted to go to college and wanted to keep playing football. The fifth grade, I was at the first grade level. And then when I got to high school, my freshman year, I was at the fifth grade level. So. Going my freshman year in high school, I knew I had to learn how to read to go to college, you know? And that's just, and I just learned through that, my teachers helped me and stuff like that. Azusa Pacific is where Terrell did indeed end up going to college. There he broke all of former NFL great Christian Akoya's records. Fast forward, and we're gonna get to why we're fast forwarding in just a minute. Watson has since gone through stints with eight different NFL teams, including the Eagles. And it was at the end of the 2016 season that Terrell Watson enjoyed the greatest moment of his career when he crossed the goal line against the Cowboys. It was awesome. I mean, it was my first time ever being active, ever playing. I was like, oh, I'm so nervous. But when I scored, I was like, let's go. You know, it was like that, that like little, cause I think I went to like three teams that year or something like that. And it was up, down, up, down, and finally get active. I was like, yeah. Well, as you can probably infer, there is a lot more to Terrell Watson's story. And we're going to bring it to you right here in the coming days on Sports Tonight. For now at Hero Stadium with the San Diego Fleet. I'm Hector Levesma.